Today we're unboxing the E41 Unlock Kit from HP Tuners for the LP5 Duramax. Stick around. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the garage and you heard me correct. There is a GM E41 ECU upgrade kit that HB Tuners has just released for your Duramax. Now, we've had to go ahead and pull the ECU out, send it in, get it unlocked, do all the tuning stuff. With this new interface, you can do it without taking your ECU out of your vehicle. It takes about 20 minutes or so. I'm going to do a video on actually doing this on my Duramax on here, but there's a couple talking points here that HP Tuner sent over that I want to touch on. Uh, this is for the E41, which is going to be a 2017 and beyond uh, Silverado or Sierra, 2500, 3500 with 6.6 liter .6 Duramax, of course. Uh, this is just another option. The other options are not going away, so you can still do the upgrade service or the exchange service, but this is going to be the easy way of doing it without having any downtime on your vehicle. It's convenient, there's no risk of breaking the ECM tabs. Honestly, for mine, I bought another ECU. I just never got around to sending it in to getting it flashed. Now that this is out, I don't have a reason to. I can leave the ECU in the truck, go ahead and flash it, but so. There's also no risk of losing the ECM due to shipping issues. You know, these things aren't cheap. You don't want them getting lost in the mail, things like that. Huge time saver. Says the upgrade process takes roughly 20 minutes. Uh, with the upgrade and exchange service, customers must remove the ECM, send it for service exchanging, which means the vehicle is not functional for a few days, could potentially be a huge inconvenience. But like, you guys get the gist, right? Uh, and it says the process is simple, doesn't require any additional tools. The kit does all the hard work for you. So what comes in the box? Oh yeah, another big point is this kit does not require any reprogramming or relearns before or after the upgrade. So no IMMO relearning immobilizer, no crank relearn, no replace the ECM function, none of that jazz. Uh, You're going to need an MPVI 2 plus or an MPVI, MPVI 3 and it's supplied USB cable, the kit itself and your laptop with the latest version of VCM beta installed. So. Uh, I don't know if we've got price points on here yet. This is this is a early model. It's coming out, and this video is not launched until this actually comes out. So once it does come out, I'll put a link down below. I'll probably launch this video as soon as they give me the go ahead. Put a link down below, and then whenever I get around to doing this on my own vehicle, walking through the process so you can see it, I'll come back and I'll throw a link up in one of the corners and stuff like that. So uh, what comes in this box? So the upgrade box. It's a black box with the HP Tuners logo on it. Right here, got a little poor amp fuse in the side of it. Got the mil spec connector that looks a lot like, uh, it's a little different than the one that they use uh, for the ProLink. So HP net cable, gray cable with M8 connectors. That's what this is. So maybe that is the same as the ProLink, I don't know. There's only one end that's going to fit into the side of this box though, so don't have to worry about that. It is keyed, be aware of the keying on it. Make sure that you get this egg put in right. Boop. Just go ahead and twist that down. And an upgraded cable fuse plug, whatever that is. And a postcard with a QR table. See, like mine didn't come with a postcard with a QR code, but I've got the documentation on there. But if you get this, you're going to get a QR code that'll take you to the detailed instructions and a video tutorial. Probably won't be my video tutorial. So, you know, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe so you can see my video tutorial because, uh, yeah, I'm better. No, I'm just kidding. The guys over at HP Tuners are going to make sure that you don't have any issues. Okay, I see what you're talking about here. There's a fuse plug on this end of it. The side plugs into the interface like so. Okay, important notes to emphasize. Uh, once again, the E41 ECM upgrade exchange purchase service not going away. This is just an option on top of all those 
This is the convenient and quick option you get your truck tune, upgrade your ECM in your own garage or shop. It only takes 20 minutes to upgrade start to finish. Uh, listen, once again, as I said, check out HP Tuners. Go over to their website. They, you know, even if I don't have a link down below, if you go to their main website, there's going to be a big link to show you how to get to this thing. And yeah, get your own upgrade. So what comes after the upgrade? This is the questions that you guys are going to want to know about. Once you complete the upgrade with, quit, with the, this kit, you can license your truck with eight universal credits. You need an MPVI 2 plus or an MPVI 3. MPVI, MPVI 2 is not going to work with this kit because that device does not come with this connector. So this connector is going to plug into your uh, ProLink slot. They call that the HP net stuff, but ProLink's the only thing that's used it up to this point. After licensing the truck, you can data log, read, edit, and write to your truck as many times as you want with VCM Suite. Uh, build a custom tune, data log, et cetera, et cetera. With the latest uh, MPVI 3 Pro features are standard, so it means you can do standalone data logging. So that's it for what is included in the box, so make sure and stick around. Uh, I need to make sure and get my, my creds loaded up uh, to one of my devices so I can do this. Uh, but next couple days, I'm gonna hook this into the Duramax. We're going to flash it in. We'll pull the tune out to verify that worked, write the tune back in, all that fun jazz. So make sure to keep your eyes peeled, goropegarage.com. As always, ABT, always be tuning. Thanks for stopping by the garage.